Hello guys, welcome to another video on SSRP. And in this new video, we are going to talk about preempt and how preempt works on SSRP, right? So preempt um, is, um, you can figure that whenever you want to ensure that a particular router is always selected as SSRP active router, if it is available, but it will only work if the the one where you the router that you enable preempt it needs to have a higher priority than the other router if the other router if the two routers have the same priority then it's not going to work or if the other router has a higher priority then preempt is not going to work for that um, router with the lower priority okay and also we are going to um, take a look at the MAC address of HSRP version 1. So in version 1, we have this MAC address that is configured, and the XY is where the HSRP group number um, in hexadecimal base on the respective interface. So the XY is going to be the group number but in hexadecimal. So for example, let's say the HSRP group 1 uses the HSRP virtual MAC address of this MAC address, and the group number is 1 in hexadecimal, that means that um, the XY is going to become the zero 01. So we're going to take a look at that so you guys can see how to see which is the um, the group number of that particular um, uh, of the MAC address. Okay, so let's go ahead to the um, to DNS3. And like I said before in the other videos, if you haven't seen Reader 1 and Reader 2 of SSRP, go ahead and watch that before um, you start watching this. And you can have configure this in Packet Tracer, the same network that I have over here. And I have a look back address, and I also have EHRP configured in this network. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look how um, preempt works. So if this router over here, router 1, let's do show in standby. As you can see over here, the group number for that standby protocol is group number one that we have configured over here. Um, the state of this router, router one, is on standby. As you can see right here, it's on standby. Um, the MAC address that we were talking about, as you can see, zero one, that means that we have configured group one. Okay, and preempt preemption is disabled on this router. And let me take a look at something else. And let's see if we can find the priority. So the priority is one or two. All right. So let's go ahead to router two. Show standby group number the same one. MAC address the same one. Um, preemption is also disabled, and the priority is one or two. So let's go ahead and, and let's go ahead to interface gigabit zero zero. And from over here, we are going to go to standby group one, and let's go ahead and do preempt. Um, actually, not on this one because this one is already the active router. So yeah, let's configure on this one since this one is the active router. Um, so let's go ahead and standby group one, and let's configure preempt. Okay, let's see that this router, this interface goes down. Uh, so let's shut it down. As you can see, this one is down. Remember that we have configured preempt. Okay, now this one is going to router one. It's not going to become the active router. Okay, it's not on standby anymore. But since we configure preempt on router two, router two should um, come up as the active router because what preempt does is that um, when you do preempt on HSRP on a router, that means that you always want it to be the active router. So what's going to happen is that since both of them have the same priority, um, the preempt is not really going to work. So what's going to happen is that router 2 is going to become the standby router. As you can see right here, it is now the standby router and that's because they both have the same priority. And therefore, when router 2 goes down and then comes back up is going to be the standby and now the active router as we told him to be with a preempt 
okay so what you could do um, let's go ahead and delete uh, the preempt and let's go ahead to router one since this one is the the active router and let's do let's go to interface give us one which is this interface right here and for here let's go to standby one let's do first priority of 105 which is going to be higher than router 2 but then we are going to configure um, standby 1 to be preempt and now preempt is going to work okay so when this router goes down router 2 is going to become the active router but then when this interface comes back again router 1 is going to become the active router back because we gave it a preempt and it has a higher priority than router 2 Okay, because router 2 priority is 102. So let's go ahead and shut it down. There we go. Shut down. Let's go ahead and shut down now. And as you can see, this one. Oops. Ah, uh, no preempt. So let's go ahead and do show on standby. As you can see now. This one became the standby router because router one came up. As you can see, so every time this router goes down, let's do shut down again. Shut down. And now when that one shuts down, router two is going to become it's going to become the The active router as you can see right here it's going to become the active router okay but then when this one comes back up I shut down then router one is going to become the active router again and that's what uh, preempt does okay it makes sure that since router one has preempt is preempt right and it has a higher priority then router two, then this one is going to become the active router um, every time this interface is up. But if they both have the same priority, um, it won't change. It needs to have a higher priority than um, router two. Okay, so this is how preempt work, guys. And if you have any other questions, just go ahead and leave me a question on the link on the comments below. Okay, and also if you have if you have a Twitter account, you can just always go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Data Tips. And if you don't have a Twitter account, go ahead and create one and see or follow me. Alright, and also subscribe to my channel where I have over a hundred videos on the CCNA topics and the ICND2 topics. So this is all for this video guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.